Hey guys, I've spent a little while now getting familiar with some new tools and products so that I can laser engrave leather, then turn it into custom heat transfer patches for hats. So let me show you what I've learned so far. So leather is relatively easy to glue to different things using contact cement, but I found that it's pretty messy and it's a little difficult to get perfect because you have to apply it after your materials are already cut down to shape. I found a different heat reactive glue that you can apply at the beginning and let dry completely. Then you can do whatever engraving and cutting you need to do to get a custom shape with a perfect glue line. They claim you can brush roll or even spray it on your material, but at this small scale testing phase, I stuck to brushing it on. I found that it sticks best after the heating process if you can get a pretty thick layer of glue on. But the problem is, if you apply it all at once, the leather starts to curl from being wet. I had the best luck avoiding this by putting a very thin coat of glue on it first and letting it dry completely. Then, I could slather on a thick second coat and it would dry without causing any more curling. With the material prepped, I moved over to Lightburn and set up the settings for the engraving. This took a little dialing in and it even seemed like the different colored leathers needed slightly different settings. The leather cuts cleaner when there isn't anything directly below it, so I found this steel screen, which works great because it lets me use magnets to hold the leather flat. Then I put the material in the laser bed and lined it up with the origin point. I hit frame to make sure the engraving will be entirely within my material, then make any final little adjustments before double checking my settings and hitting start. I'm actually using a new little laser for this. My 150 watt laser just isn't capable of the detail I need for this work, but this small Monport does an incredible job on projects this small. At 40 watts, it's a perfect compromise between low enough power for detailed engraving, but high enough power to still cut through some thicker materials. If you're in the market for an entry-level laser, this one is very affordable, and if you use the code GUNFLINT6, you can get 6% off. So here's another tip I worked out along the way. If you use any kind of dyed leather, it takes a little more power to get a good engraving, but at that point you will need to do some cleanup. I just rubbed it down with a little LA's Awesome to get rid of the soot. But in contrast to that, if you use natural colored leather, if you have to clean it, it will absorb color way too easily when it gets wet. Luckily, natural colored leather takes an engraving much easier, so you can just turn the power way down and you shouldn't have to clean it at all. So now we actually get to make our hats. I got this really nice hat heat press from Vever and it does a really nice job. You just flip the power switch and let it cycle on. Then you program the temperature you need to activate whatever adhesive you're using and the duration you need to get the job done. In this case, I'm going with 200 degrees for 35 seconds. I found that the hat sits in position better if I extend the strap on the back way out before I put it on the machine. And not all hats are shaped the same, so sometimes I had better luck putting an additional piece of foam inside the hat to give the patch more support from the backside. These particular patches are easy to center. I just line the points up with the seam on the hat. Then I use some heat resistant tape to hold the patch in place. I have another tip about the tape in just a minute. To protect everything from the direct heat, I put a silicone mat over the top, then pull the handle on the press down until it locks, which starts the timer. After 30 seconds, an alarm sounds, and that's all there is to it. Take out the hat, throw away the tape, and you're left with a completely custom leather patch hat. I made a few of these and have had some friends wearing them for about a month now. So far, nobody has had any issues with the adhesive letting go. So really quick, that tip about the tape, it's much easier if you just use one long piece across the whole patch. But at first I was having trouble with tape marks being left in the leather. I switched to this two-piece method to try to minimize that issue, but eventually found it was once again the fault of the natural colored leather. Dyed leather had no issues with the tape. Well, that's it guys. I've wanted to figure this out for a long time and started with it way back last spring. But at that time, my big laser started crapping out on me and it's taken this long to get things squared away. I really like how these are turning out now. The leather looks great, and I just started experimenting with this other material called Leatherette. It's essentially just fake leather, but you can get it in a bunch of colors, and you can get it with heat transfer adhesive already on the back. I plan on doing another video with this stuff a little further down the road. If you're curious about any of the tools in the video, check out the description. All the links are down there. And if you're interested in a Gunflint Designs hat, or want me to make you some hats with your own logo, get a hold of me through my website or Instagram. I'll be happy to help you out. Okay, I'm tired of talking. I'll see you next time.